Hey guys, Fast from X Force again with Scott. And today we've got some uh, pretty cool little uh, pistols, um, all the way from Taiwan, from our friends at WE, uh, the WE Tech Beretta. Yep, following on from the Glocks. So it's nice to have a continuation of a, a really well-known brand with good quality. Mm. Uh, brand of Soundmore Blasters, which is cool. Yep, and. Since we've done the Wells uh, Beretta, we figured this is a nice little step up um, yeah. to show you guys what's obviously out there. Now, we're not personally selling these, we're literally just doing a video. We really just want to show you guys what's out, what's coming out, uh, what's cool and what's not so cool. Um, Unbiased views, I guess. That's we'll right. Way to do it, you so. know, we're pretty raw here. If it's good, we'll say it. If it ain't, We'll definitely say it. Um, now, we've played around with this for a little bit, and you know, like I said, Beretta for me, it's yeah, you know, it's cool, it's all right, you know. Uh, but I've got to say one thing that I like my hex, or if you want to call it a hex or a honeycomb style, anything fancy stuff. you like. I like fancy, and that is pretty fancy. Now, I mean, yeah. you know, there is the standard sort of Beretta, straight black, nothing fancy, eh, a bit boring. But that, that, that really did caught my eye. That is nice. That is very, very beautiful. Um, and I think the guys at W have done a pretty nice job of them. Um, we've got four different uh, styles. styles and... All the little fancy stuff on them. Colors. Yeah, colors patterns. and patterns and whatever. <laughs> um, and, you know, other than what's outside, inside's all the same. Um, we didn't get our hands on the stars, but never mind. Maybe next time. Um, they went too quick. They went too quick. Now, these things sold out like hotcakes. Um, the guys that were selling them a tack edge, I will say it. I did promise Joe I'll say it, so Tactical <laughs> Edge is selling them. We might get some next time if they're not hogging them all. Uh, so, um, but if you're after one, if they still got some, get down there and check them out. Uh, i got to say, first things first, when you grab one, similar, they're, they're, they're pretty better KG. Heavy. They're better yeah. KG. Better, uh, yeah. Mag in. So it's a nice, solid nice, weight to it. Nice, solid weight. Um, quite a quite a comfy sort of um, feel when yep. you're holding onto it. Um, well, there was old uh, Brett saying it fits like a glove. Fits like so. a glove, eh? I think it does. It kind of does feel a, a little bit chunky for my life. You know, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, not the smallest, but it just feel feels a bit chunky for me. I think. Um, but. Regardless, it does feel good. When you're holding on to it, it does feel pretty good. Um, so, you know, don't, uh, don't say, you know, I don't think that I'm trying to say that it's, you know, I don't like it or anything. It just feels a bit chunkier, you know. Um, I guess I'm used to holding too many 1911s and Glocks, so now we're going on. It is a bit wider as well. Mm. And, and certainly the weight, when, you, when you're going to... You know, the Berettas, you definitely, one thing that you notice you is the it. weights. Uh, so, you know, in, in saying that, they are very nice. Um, and, well, the honeycomb still sort of is the one thing that stands out for me. Yeah. The, the standard, um, I don't know, if you're looking at it, is a, it's it's nicer I guess and better looking than your um, better finished I should say than the the Wells ones were. Yeah. Um, but obviously shooting quality internally, um, we've been selling a few of the W E uh, stuff and we've had the Glocks. They've been selling like crack. Been selling very well and we had very little in the way of problems and fixes and all that sort of thing so that was the one thing that sort of does kind of attract you to a certain manufacturer when you start having 
less and less problems to deal with. You can sell a quality product and not have to worry about, oh man, it's going to come back and really bite me up the ass. Yeah. Um, so, um, it does have, oh, do they all have? Yeah, they do all have. So, it's got all the numbers on here, type M9A1. Now, that, that would be the, the M9 is a military version. M9, a military version, A1, that's that's more the, the later um, yeah. versions which came out, I think it was 2010. Um, so the more upgraded and yeah. whatever fancier. Now, the thing with, you know, I'll point out something. The thing with having hexes and whatever, um, you also got a slight, well, a lightly, uh, Slightly, <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. I don't know. <laughs> it's late. My brain's starting to, you know, play up on me. His brain is a little bit lighter, a, a bit more grip. A, a light, yeah. Slightly lighter um, slide. <laughs> There's too many S's in there. <laughs> All right, so um, with, I guess that's one thing that does attract me. I know the weight, even though, like I said, these things are pretty weighty having that little bit less weight on your slide it means it's going to come a bit more gas efficient yeah a bit more power um now the other thing that i, I did notice and i should point out they are they do have the semi and full auto um which is a cool thing yeah. if you want to have a full auto personally like i said I don't know why. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it in a gas pistol with gels. You literally... I tell you what, the only time I'd say I do the full auto... Tell me, what's the time you do full auto? The only one time is when I would hear, finish him. And yeah. I would literally just... At least it wasn't staff <laughs> me. I was waiting for staff me. Christmas party. Uh, no, nah, it would be a finish him move. It would be yeah. literally a... Full model combat, you know, empty the whole Every thing. Every time you see someone, it's a finishing move. It's, yeah, it's a finishing drill move. You can. Like I literally, like these things go off tap when you put them in auto. You literally pull, you know, you press that trigger and prrr, gone, you know, in an instant. So it is cool, like when you hear it, but yeah, that's about as far as that goes. Gas from. pistols in general do require a lot more. Uh, maintenance and greasing and oiling. Hmm. If you are going to run these suckers in full auto, just remember your maintenance schedule will always be increased a lot. A lot more maintenance just because of the wear and tear and the concussive nature of the blaster, so the blowback. So definitely just take good care of it. They are really, really well made. Um, yeah, Joe was cool. Let us play with them for a while. Hmm. Um, um, mags, I, I've got to say, actually, you hold about 14 or 15, I don't believe. Yeah, we'll hold about, I think, about 14 gels. Now, um, you also got to be very careful with gels in all metal mags. So, when you load them in there, don't go too crazy, don't go filling them up like as much as you can. Sometimes sure. you'll find that the last will get chopped a lot of times you can um, you know get some sandpaper and even give a bit more sandpaper in there in that rail um, it could help it might not it's metal gels going against the not necessarily a sharp metal edge but a, an edge nevertheless um, so it does happen with most of them it's not something that yeah you know we're dealing with something that used to normally take plastic BBs and now we're chucking in a, a a gel which is now getting compressed by a spring pushed up so um, that's gonna be something that you try and go with ultra hard gels like our black label uh, elites whatever you know uh, test with hardened gels if you're gonna if you've got those orange uh, packs and whatever and you're gonna try with that I'd pretty much say you're gonna find that it's not going to shoot very well. Yeah, uh, you're going to smash them. 
they got way too much power coming out. If you've outlaid the money for a decent gas pistol and set up gas, grease, oil, mm. all that, get the better gels. Get the That's... better gels. Get yourself a maintenance pack. We, we do have metal pistol maintenance packs. 57 bucks. On yeah, about 50 something dollars. Uh, it'll keep your pistol running smooth and without any issues you don't you won't be calling well not <coughs> us but you'd be calling the the shop back and going hey man my pistol don't work and it literally mm. would be only just greasing it oiling it whatever might be you know that you haven't done yeah which... abby maintenance gas as well with your mags always have a bit of that squirt into it so it's not dry mm. uh, o-rings do dry up so just a little bit of care and maintenance it's the same stuff as ipro you just got to remember to always always be on top of it yeah look after your investment no matter how much money you got it's always an investment with the outlay yeah um so i don't know um there are the what do you call it the the hammer yeah uh the other thing i was going to say before we go anyway one thing i've got i might have pointed out in previous videos i'm always looking at the hammer yeah because I've broken a hammer before. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've got to order them. Oh, ah, yeah. Because I've got to order parts. So I'm always looking at parts that are like, right, I've broken that before. How is this looking? Now I've got to look at this thing. This thing's solid. Like, there's literally just this little hole over here. It's and the rest Kardashian. of it. It's chunky. It's a little chunky piece of metal, which I like. Because I'm not going to break that anytime soon. So... You can cock that back and then you, you basically you can shoot by either just pressing or cocking it back and pressing. What do you call that? Single or double. Single or, or double uh, action. trigger action. Um, now, the other thing is, I ain't going to do it again. Like with the well, we've pointed out, oh, you know, taking the slide off is basically pushing the button, it's pulling simple. that down slide comes off i ain't doing it because we both <laughs> are not very ages. good at putting at things together especially pistols especially at night uh, especially at this hour uh it's late brain don't work so we're not gonna do it um slide lock all right so it's a good thwack too it just sounds so good just that metal clinging sound you know you, you could sit there and just play around with that for a long time wouldn't do it for too long because you know you're wearing wear and tear but it, it's just such a cool sound um i don't know there's something else that i'm missing on here oh you do have that bottom rail bit so you can stick a torch torch laser, laser whatever i'd Point. stick a torch don't bother with lasers as much fields won't let you use them yeah so. they're no good on fields um so but a nice little torch there are torches with a laser but Go on O-Light. Yeah, the O-Lights. Reputable awesome. company sell those. Um, if you're going to spend... It's 449 449 on a pistol. Make sure you get yourself a nice torch that's going to complement your pistol and not something shitty and ugly and whatever. Um, especially one of these. I'm definitely eyeing this one, man. I think I'm going to hold on to that. Sorry, Joe. I'm keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> that is sweet. You know, and I don't say that too do, often. Even if, even if it's for a pistol that I don't normally go for, you know. Yeah. You could offer yeah. me that one, and I'd be like, "Well, I think Die Hard, Bruce die, Willis, die hard. yeah, used that. all right, lethal yeah. weapon. Mel Gibson used it. Yeah. So, but these have been in tons of video games as well. So even if you're just cosplaying a role from a movie or a video game you liked, like mm -hmm. Battlefield or whatnot, you know, you can always. Yeah, I mean, I can have a bit of fun. So you've got your silver hexed one, you've got your dual tone hexed one, so a bit of silver with the black. I think that was pretty cool. That's not bad, I don't mind that too much. And the full black hex, which does look cool, the only thing is it kind of blends it all in so you kind of lose the whole hex, the point of it. Um, it's nice and then as like scott your, was pointing the the standard the uh, police service issue police for the service. states so i mean yeah if, if you so. want to be the yeah, the die hard 
sort of fan of the police die hard movies of the die hard <laughs> movies and and fan of you know lethal weapon yeah all that stuff then sure man hit that one you know it's cool. it's cool you know at least with that sleek. you can always end up getting more stuff laser engraved as well yeah so uh yeah well future 3d prints is uh if you buy we take stuff from us uh you get 20 percent off laser engraving yeah oh you so, can even just mention us yeah because we're cool yeah though um chris will hook you up um awesome stuff my pistols uh custom laser stippled uh, my glock 19 for a dragon scale finish <laughs> that's a uh, 20 percent off so yeah great so. prices and that least way you can you know do your name or your own serial number on it or hexes if you must if you really if want you to must. go that way it's already there but I mean, yeah. if you want to get one of them and do something else that's you yeah then hit Skulls, up uh, so future 3d prints yeah hit them hit them up and uh, get yourself sorted but i mean these things seriously uh, a nice off the bat you know mm. there there is no uh, denying that so really good body to it nice weight yeah uh, I can't see these, you know, dropping these and, and breaking it. The only bit that I'm probably a little bit worried about is obviously uh, this bit where your your handle covers come down and meet up under here. Uh, that's still plastic. So if I drop this, say, like that, mm. that's probably the only bit that's plastic that's going to hit. You know? Stick your foot under it, save your mag, save your blaster. <laughs> Stick your foot under it. <laughs> You're gonna get hurt, <laughs> but save your blaster. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I mean, this thing's yeah, it is solid. It's nicely finished. There's a um, nice amount of branding on it. So there's WE branding under your mags, mm. on your handles. Um, so it's yeah. All the like I said, all your the finishes there. All your finish. Yeah, really, it is finished nice. There, there is no doubt. Even, hey, even putting that mag in just. Slides on really nice, clicks in. It's it just, yeah, it's just beautiful. You know, you, you know when something's made well, mm. that it just it slides effortlessly. It sounds it like clicks, a Volkswagen. It, it doesn't sound like a Volkswagen. <laughs> come on, um, but it's just well made and um, yeah, uh, sounds good. Mm. Um, anyway, I'm gonna. Yeah bring you guys i'm going to give you a closer look now i'm going to take these um i'm going to take one of these guys they're all the same look when i do a chrono video here and it shoots you know it might not necessarily give you a an exact of every one of them you know you might grab this one shoot it and it shoots 280. Yeah. then you could grab another one you might buy another one of exactly that one and it will shoot 300 or 310 so just know that even though just i'm just going to grab one because it's literally the same thing it could be a freak or it could be a slight dud so uh but i mean so far <laughs> we've kind of found they're, they're pretty good and yeah you know on the average they're all about the same so but i'm just pointing it out there because somebody said oh no but i had one of those and it shot this well so look you might have had a freak that just shot really good all right so it also depends not just with gas pistols not only on your if you're using 12 kg gas or 14 mm. it's also the temperature um if you're far north queensland compared to like the gold coast you will have a variance in power just from the ambient temperature for your gas mm. so if you're in melbourne at the moment shooting one of these i'm sorry dude but your FPS is going to suck compared to mine. Come to Queensland for a holiday. Come to Queensland. You shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't be doing it anyway. Oh, yeah. All right. So um, anyway, oh, you're in Adelaide with a license and you got one. Well, actually, Perth. no, you can't have one of these in Adelaide. Yeah. Sorry, Adelaide. Perth. <laughs> we'll just go around Australia until we come back to Queensland. But uh, anyway, what we're trying to say, if you're in a cold place and you're shooting it, your mm -hmm. FPS is going to be lower than what it is, say, up north in far north queensland those guys hot you know if they run a 14 kg gas yeah. they're gonna have to like settle down because this thing's gonna pop like a yeah jackhammer you know, yeah like a jackhammer so 
also remember that with heat your gas is going to hit harder so if you want to hey man i want to drop that fps a little bit it's hitting too hard go for a lower end gas than a higher end um you can go for i mean in full summer you could probably even go with the 144 I wouldn't go 144 with a, a full metal, metal slide. Actually, yeah, full metal. This is actually quite heavy. Uh -huh. But just a standard green. Yeah. Um, so you read Cam well, Abbey's. Yeah. Um, and, but yeah, uh, 14 is going to be pretty hardcore. Yeah. So in winter now, 14, great. You know, especially for a heavy boy like these guys. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind um, because it's going to pop mm. a lot harder. Anyway, I'm going to bring you guys in a bit closer. I'm going to give you guys a bit of a uh, uh, scope out. Yeah, bird's eye view. And your ultra hard gels as well, as Vass was saying before. Ultra hard gels, well greased and oiled. Yeah, look at that. That is, that is really a very nice finish. That hex. Turn that around. I'll show you guys the Made in Taiwan sticker. And um, there's our uh, serial number. Serial number type M9A1. As you can see, all that hex goes right down on the handle. And then. That's the one you're keeping, isn't it? That's the one, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to just. Uh, <laughs> Donated by Joe. Yeah lose it in transit um the nice the nice thing with the the black and silver slides you actually see more detail than mm. in the pure silver or just the pure black yeah even though i wasn't too keen on that two-tone but the two-tone does actually shows a christmas of the the machining from the we factory yeah and we've got the we uh logo that's the logo there in the right end Again, very nicely finished. We pre cock this one, just so it's a bit nicer to see all the details where your hexing ends. Yeah, even that, as you can see, even that outer barrel, it's got all the hexes on it. Or honeycomb, if you want to call it honeycomb. honeycomb. I liked honeycomb, to be honest. Makes me think of honey. It's sweet, sweet looking, sweet sounds. Okay, and then we go to our standard one. Nice, crisp, clean. So if you they like that clean look, if you don't like fancy like I do, um, even your W W E logo is a lot more simple and classic mm, the compared classic to the w, fancier yeah. yeah all right well that's pretty much it for um, their looks and um, let's go give them a test yep. hey guys so back here at the range with our beautiful WTEC uh, Beretta um, I went for obviously the silver one because that was my favorite and I'm just using some what am I using black label gels in it some ultra black label gels um, now you gotta like I said gotta be quite careful when you put them in so you don't try and cut them up I don't know whether any of mine I think the last one might have got a little bit uh, hammered so Let's see how this fell goes. I'm just going to pop a couple, um, see how it feels, and then we'll run it through the chrono. Yeah, that feels nice. Yeah, a couple was like half a mag later. All right, all right, I can help myself. I got a little bit carried away. Uh, let me see what's left. Yeah, not a lot. Um, and you were using the Predator Ultra from Abbey? Yep, so using the Predator Ultra from Abbey. Um, 
Not a pop too many in that chrono, but enough to uh, give us a good idea of where we're sitting. Okay. I think I was getting sprays because I'm getting mm -hmm. I was getting double. I'll try that again. <laughs> Remember when using chronos to not be too close, or yeah, it can pick up bit, particles. Maybe I was a bit too close. Yeah. I've got some double. Um, the moisture can give you false readings as well. Yeah. That's why we do it on camera, just so we can show people what we've learned. Yeah, because I've had a. Well, yeah, a little bit all over, but I was, when I was shooting, and I just saw I was having doubles, and I thought maybe it was just one or whatever, but I got too many of them. Alright. I said also, uh, Okay, so had one or two, I think, where it broke. Uh, but in general, I think I've got a good idea of where we sh where we are. Okay, so you guys have a look here. Two sixty, two forty. Now you gotta remember, I shot it a couple of times, so the mags are starting to sort of get a bit cooler. Um, I'm gonna go with about the two sixty mark. Ignore the forty. Yeah, ignore the. <laughs> So, and the 170. Yeah, so where you had that, the numbers on that um, side looks like they were all over the place, but we did have a 300. Not sure, well, you know, if that was quite accurate, but. I'll be going 250 for the, the 250. The 250 something, 260 is sort of where we're, looks like we're sitting. So I'm going to go with the 255. How's that? Uh, 255 now that's not bad it's probably not as high as some um, we've had higher readings so I don't know whether it, you know could be the gels could be anything um, could be that it's cooler now we're doing it at nine o'clock at night so that could have something to do with it if you're shooting it in the middle of the day when it's hot you're gonna get a higher reading but that's still not bad, um, and um, in a full metal slide as well. So if you were yeah. using a 12 kg gas, your numbers would be higher, as we were saying before. Uh, try a 14. Oh, I should have tried a 14 to see how that goes. Anyway, don't want to keep this going for too long, though. <laughs> that's pretty good. Look, that you know, that's impressive, and it does feel good. It's got that bit of a kick, but like I said. Definitely wouldn't mind trying the 14 kg, see how that pops. Um, all in all, I like it. Look, the, the look, the feel, um, and they work nice without any modification. Um, but to me, it's just the look. I do like the honeycomb. Anyway, hope that helps, guys. Uh, sorry we're not selling it at the moment, but uh, hopefully next time. And... Uh, Make sure, remember the Stop and Think campaign. Uh, if you're carrying them, put them away safely. And uh, we'll see you guys next time with some more cool stuff and uh, really, really fancy schmancy uh, pistols. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Take care.